Hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. Um, didn't was very surprised that the previous uploaded video um, got so many views. <laughs> um, I think um, there's been some mixed reactions to my thoughts on McTominay, but fair enough, it's all about opinion, it's all about opinion. Um, anyway, we're just going to get straight into the player ratings, um, so without further ado, let's start with the player ratings. So, um, starting 11, obviously, David De Gea, uh, I think David De Gea, um, gets a seven. I think he had a solid performance. I, mean, I think he made a couple of very good key saves, um, so which is encouraging. And obviously, with news that he's signing a new contract, um, I think that um, it's good to see that David is back his best and keeping us in games. That's what we want. Because honestly, um, if he'd done that last season, there's a very good chance we'd be playing in the Champions League this season against the Chelsea's and what have you. So, you know, I'm glad that David De Gea is is, is hopefully getting back to his best. Um, so next off, um, obviously, Aaron Wan-Bissaka, I give a seven as well. Very good player. Um, I think now with Wan-Bissaka, I mean, this is the thing that you see, it's like, because Wan-Bissaka is so solid, um, his solid performances are almost like average performances, you know, like, and we, and you just need to remember the fact that you know, last season, Ashley Young was playing there. So, Aaron Bissaka having a solid performance. Nothing really getting much past him. You know, he's basically going to be our right back for years, I think. Unless a big team, bigger team, like Madrid or Barcelona sort of, um, not they're bigger, but, you know, if they come with the money, you know, but I think that he he will be our right, a good sort of right back for years. And the only thing, obviously, Aaron Bissaka is just going forward like his delivery something needs to be better we know that but the reality is, is that um we bought him for defensive stability and that's what he's doing so seven for Wambasaka. um so uh harry Maguire, harry Maguire give a seven as well um i think that a lot of people are saying oh yeah johnny evans was the better defender etc how will Guy has proved in the last couple of games? I don't really blame him for for, for one or two of the goals we conceded. More Lindelof not winning the aerial battles, but I think that Harry Maguire provides leadership to that, that center center back line. I think that it's it's very good that he is in our team, um, and you know we've not been conceding that many goals. You know, okay, yes, we conceded average one or so, but, but um, so far we've not been battered or anything like that. We've kept two clean sheets out of five, which is more than say Chelsea have. Um, or even Manchester City, I think, you know, so, you know, solid performance, solid performance, so Maguire, seven. Um, Victor Lindelof, I'd give a six. Um, not that I think he had a terribly bad game, but I think that I've noticed that he is a, it still looks like a bit shaky. I don't know whether that's because he's playing against with a better defender, and so as a result, because he's playing with a better defender, it, he just gets the impression that his defense is worse if that makes any sense um but yeah um it, much to be improved on victor lindelof you know so six um ashley young who came in uh, i'll give ashley young a seven to be honest you know i i, I he, he he was brought in because dallon shaw injured and i think he's going to basically be there you know for quite some time so you know he had a sort of performance um he can have bad performances but he did what he did today and you give credit where credit is due I don't think Ash Young is the future, but he came in and did a job. And so for that, like I said with McTominay, I have respect. Um, going into the midfield now, um, like I give Scott McTominay an 8. I think he was our man of the match. Um, I've criticised Scott McTominay in previous videos, in a lot of videos actually. But I feel like today, you know, he really did solidify that midfield. And especially when Fred came on, which I think I think he changed changed the game for Fred. Um, but I feel that certainly in the first half and towards in the, towards in the second half, Scott McTominay um, sh uh, showed what he could do in this situation. And at the end of the day, we didn't concede, you know. So I know I might get a lot of sticks saying that, you know, magnificent with Scott McTominay, etc. And yes, he has not had any good performances for us because our midfield, you know, because our midfield is a championship midfield. Okay, if I'm, okay, well, let's see what, let's see what happens 10 games in Christmas end of the season etc because if we do have a championship midfield then we should be then our points our points tally should dictate that I believe that the Premier League doesn't lie so where we finish is where we would be so United finished sixth in the Premier League because they were the sixth best team in England okay so if we finish above that then you know we're not with a in quote championship type um, midfield, 
then are they really championship midfield if they're finishing fourth in the Premier League? I don't think so. But anyway, um, so yeah, Scott McTominay at an eight. That's what I see. Pereira, um, Pereira I'll give um, a seven. I think again he's had better. He's had better games, um, much better games. Um, but I think this is a slight improvement over his previous over his previous games. Um, and again, we won the game in the day, so I won't say that much about Pereira to be honest. I think he made a few a few too many mistakes as well playing on that right. We'll see what happens if Pogba comes in. Whether you know, I, I do believe that when Pogba comes back, it should be Pogba, McTominay, and Fred. But you know, some performance. Um, Matic obviously starting. Matic would give a give a five. Matic, hmm, Matic just shouldn't be really in the squad to be honest. He's he's not quick enough. He's slow. Uh, he seemed to be surprised when he was substituted off of Fred, and Fred coming on showed why he needs to basically start. And I really hope against West Ham. Fred starts the game. Matt is just just can't do it at this level anymore. He just, just can't. Um, going up top, Dan James seven. A um, few good chances in there. Um, I, was, I was expecting a spectacular goal, but fair play. Um, he's he's been consistent. Um, hopefully, the key, the key is that we just need to be creating more chances. Um, and uh, and this is why we get on to Marcus Rashford um, because Marcus Rashford six man. You know, I mean, I know people give me jip for um, Blaise McTominay, but to be honest, Marcus Rashford hasn't. I don't think has been that great recently. I can't remember like he scored the penalty, and for that, and for that, he's not getting a five like 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 Matic and Matu are coming to later. But he's, I don't know. I think you really miss Marshall up top, um, and I think. When Marshall comes back, I'm struggling to find a place for Marcus Rashford, to be honest. Because if Marsh if Marshall's gonna play up top as a lone striker, Daniel James um on the left, you know, are you gonna play Rashford on the right? You know, I think that you should, you're probably better off like playing maybe a Chong on a Greenwood and seeing what happens. Maybe you can play Marcus Rashford on the right, possibly. Um but as a lone as a up top as a number nine, I don't think he's our number nine. I don't think he's our top striker, he's not. Um and he just hasn't he hasn't been playing well recently. He hasn't, not for some time. Um, certainly better than uh, better than Lingard, though, uh, who wasn't playing um, and who might not get back into this team, to be honest, because I would certainly put Chong and Green with the head of Lingard right now. So it's going to be interesting to see what the Europa League, uh, which we'll do because we're going to be doing a watch-along, a live stream watch-along for the Europa League, so stay tuned for that. Um, so lastly, Mata, Mata 5, um, Again, like Matic, I think he played better than Matic, but I think the issue with Matic is that this playing him on the right doesn't work. As a number 10 behind, like to give that creativity that we desperately need at times, it works. And so he can, he can play better, but not on the right, you know. So I think Oli's selection initially, I think, wasn't ideal. And I think I would have put Matic um, in the middle, um, Daniel James on the left. And then you can put Pereira on the right if 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 you want to bring someone else in for like a Fred or something like that. You know that that's what that's what I would have um, done. You know, so again, came with Tomini, Fred, and Matic. Fine, you know, do something like that. You know, and then have Mata playing in 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 this in the center. So that's a number ten. That works. So you're gonna play Mata for me. Um, you play Mata as a number number ten behind. You know your stru your your Rashford or your thing. You don't play him on the right. Stop playing him on the right because it's 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 he's not a winger for a start. Not now anyway. And also it's causing problems to Wan Bissaka because it's making him having to work a lot harder. Um. So I think I think the five score for Matt is not so much for sort of him as more of Oli's section. We'll come to Oli and, and I'm on Oli now actually because I say I'll give Oli a, a Oli rating a, a basically a a seven. They've been lower if we lost a game, um, but the key, I think, difference with Oli this, and he's learning because he's a young manager, he's getting more experience, is that he made key substitutions. He brought Fred on, he brought Chong on, who stabilised the game. We both were sevens when they came on, by the way. They both stabilised the midfield, looked better, the diamonds, and so in. If anything, we were on the front foot, as opposed to, um, you know, um, as opposed to... Uh, you know, Leicester City 
pressing and pressing and pressing and potentially scoring a, 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 a goal because that's what I feared was going to happen. One nil, and you know we're you know we're, we, get, we end up getting. And if it means we're grinding out results, then fine. Yes, Manchester. You know, people might say, oh, you know, we're grinding out results. We're not battering teams four 0 etc. At the end of the day, we know we known before the end start of the season that, that, that our team was not going to be that great and that it will be a miracle if Aragonsa gets top four. So why are we complaining when we're grinding our results? Frankly, I'll take the three points because it's better than that than, than, than seeing like Manchester City getting battered, frankly, by Norwich. And I might post a video about that later on my Devil Studio Live. Right, thanks for listening, guys. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Almost at a thousand subscribers. I cannot wait. We'll probably get it, hopefully break it. Um, this week got a thousand subscriber video special thanks again to everyone who supports the channel really really appreciate it have a nice day guys and cheers